Grok One has broken the social media at the moment. Everyone is talking about it. There is a lot of misconception going around Grok One. So in this video, I am going to give you the information which is factual, available, and validated from various sources. This video contains a synopsis of Grok One as what exactly it is, what it contains, and how should you learn about it? So let's get started. Elon Musk's XAI has released open weights of Grok 1 model. Grok 1 is their flagship model, which is being touted to compete with GPT 4. As you might know in the media, that there has been a tussle going around between Elon Musk and OpenAI's founder. That Elon believes that OpenAI is not open and they should be outsourcing, open sourcing and opening up all the weights of the GPT-4 and GPT-3.5 and any other subsequent models in the future. That is why he has led by an example and has released the open weights of this model plus the network architecture. The model which XAI has released in the name of Grok1 is the base model weight and they have also released the network architecture. Grok1 is a 314 billion parameter mixture of expert model trained from the scratch by XAI. This is the raw base model checkpoint from the Grok1's pre-training phase, which concluded in October 2023. This means that the model is not fine-tuned for any specific application such as dialog. They have released the weights and the architecture under the Apache 2 license, which means you can commercially use this if you want to. A mixture of expert model is an ensemble machine learning approach that divides a complex problem into simpler sub-problems, each solved by a specialized model known as expert. The key idea here is to train multiple expert models on different partitions of the data or aspects of the problem and then use a gating mechanism to decide which experts advice to follow for a given input. And that is what this Grok1 model is, just like Mixtrol. For now, for each token, two out of experts will be active, which primarily means that for each token, there will be around 86 billion active parameter give or take. The model's architecture includes 64 layers of computational units or nodes through which data is processed sequentially. Each layer can transform the data, learn complex patterns and then features from the input to make an accurate prediction or decision. Grok1 has 48 attention heads for queries. What it means is that the model uses a mechanism to focus on different parts of the input data simultaneously in 48 unique ways allowing it to attend to different aspects and derive varied contextual information for making predictions or generating outputs. Each attention head can learn to capture different types of relationships in the data. Grok1 has an embedding size of 6144. It means that the model represents each item in its input data like words in a sentence, pixel in an image, etc. as a vector of 6144 numerical values. This high dimensional representation allows the model to capture a vast amount of nuanced information about each item, which is crucial for understanding complex patterns and relationships within the data. Model uses rope encoding for embedding. Rotary embedding rope encode the position of sequence elements by rotating their embedding, which allows the model to capture relative positions and maintain permutations equivariance. This mechanism enhances the model's ability to understand and utilize the order of elements in tasks like language understanding or sequence processing. Tokenizer is very similar to what GPT-4 has. It's a sentence piece tokenizer. It also supports activation sharding. Activation sharding means that it is used to distribute the storage of intermediate activation layers across multiple devices to manage me memory usage and computational load during model training. 
Also, it supports 8-bit quantization, which is a process that reduces the precision of the numbers used to represent the model's parameters from floating point to 8-bit integers. This reduction in precision can significantly decrease the model's memory footprint and speed up computation, often with minimal impact on its performance, making it particularly useful for deploying models to resource constraint environment like mobile devices or embedded system. If you go to hugging face model code of this model and I will show you shortly, you would know that it's a big huge model of 314 billion parameters. So you would need approximately 350 GB disk space to run it and you would need more than 320 GB of VRAM on your GPUs if you are running 4-bit quantization. If you are running 8-bit quantization which it supports then you would need more than 600 GB of VRAM on your GPUs. So what it means is that you would need multiple GPUs just to run this model which is very huge. Now, let me take you to its hugging face page and then we will see the model card. This is a model card from hugging face and there is not much information available except for the installation. If you want to install it locally and you are lucky enough to have access to that sort of hardware, then all you need to do is to go to this GitHub repo or even from this hugging face and from there, just clone this by doing git clone and repo url run pip install requirements and then run this transformer.py or if you go to their hugging face repository from there you can just simply do run.py i would suggest if you are doing local install then go to this hugging face uh, sorry github repo and i'll drop the link in video description click on the screen button grab this url go to your local system do git clone and this url go to that cd to that directory grok and then from there just pip install requirements and python run.py that's all you need to do so this is the requirement let me quickly show you and i will also open up the run.py so the requirements are just these that's it how cool is that and you can see that sentence piece tokenizer is being used run.py is again very simple which is downloading all the checkpoints from that hugging face repo and installing it very very simple and then it runs some sort of inference and this is a prompt which you can of course uh, replace now if i go here to hugging face go to files go to checkpoints these are all the checkpoints which are available which is massive so you can load more and you will see that it goes on and on there are a lot of things to load here lot of files it's humongous it's huge it's not a simple or a model for the faint hearted or another but unfortunately but it means that you cannot run it locally if you have commodity gpus i actually tried it out for the sake of it on my two gpus each of uh, them was 16 gp of vram it was just miserable it failed miserably so anyway um I will drop the link to this hugging face card and also the github repo give it a try let me know what do you think i believe that this is very very exciting and interesting especially when elon is challenging open ai to open source their model let's see if open ai really opens up and make the weights of gpt4 or gpt5 or any other subsequent model to the public war no war is on and game is on so let's see what happens next. That's it guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or thoughts or comments, share them in the uh, comment section. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.